Alrighty guys, I'm KC and welcome back to some Minecraft here on the Bedrock Edition. We've been doing some achievement hunting and this episode is, of course, the same thing. Okay, so you actually have to... Can you feed cows multiple times in this version? Maybe I'm just clicking on the younger cows by accident. Possible. Okay, so this episode we're going to start off like we always do with a trip down into our mines. And, uh... My, 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 my plan was to go into the nether, but I'm thinking about food now, and I'm thinking that's probably not a good idea, you know? Let's just get ourselves some torches. Um... A stack will do. So maybe we should just have a little bit of a chat. And just do some mining. Try and knock this achievement out of the bag. Let's make ourselves some pickaxes. And let's talk. Let's talk. I don't know what about yet. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe you'll learn something about me. So. Ooh. Bunch of zombies here. And what you bet in one of these will pick an item up if we would randomly throw it down. But oh well. We'll leave them be. So. Where did my roots be achievement hunt and star? I think that's probably a why I achievement hunt. Why I achievement hunt is probably a good sub topic to talk about in this episode, I think. So I like the prideful feeling when you complete a game. You complete a game that you've spent many, many hours on, and you finally achieve that bit of it. You finally achieve that moment where you attain all current achievements, and it is absolutely just it's such a prideful feeling but where did it start where did it start so my wife was pregnant about 10 years ago <laughs> she was pregnant it wasn't really 10 years ago it was more like nine actually yeah it'd be about nine years she'd be pregnant and anyway we we didn't have a lot of money we didn't have a lot of money we had very little money you know, I was still in college. I just left college. I was trying to get a job. I was unemployed at the time. I was trying to get a job, trying to support my family best I could. Uh, but anyway, uh, we, I had not long since turned 18. Uh, my wife was 19, and uh, my mum used to used to have a loan out from Provident. Uh, Provident used to come around. When she learned that I was 18, she offered me one. And I was adamant that I was never going to take loans out. And I said no at first. Uh, but eventually, I decided to say yes. I decided it'd be a good idea to start building my credit, that kind of stuff. So I said, yeah, sure, I'll have one. So I had one, my wife had one, and we ended up buying ourselves an Xbox 360 and a PS3 out of the money. Um, I was going to trophy hunt on PS3. My wife was going to achievement hunt on the Xbox 360. And that was the plan. That was the plan. Uh, but shortly after that, shortly after, we ended up uh, being kicked out of our house by my mother. My mother kicked my, me and my wife out. And we ended up in a homeless accommodation, but funded by the local council. Uh, it was this small little bungalow, literally miles and miles from anybody. Okay. We had next to no money. We had pretty much nothing. But we did have the PS3 and the Xbox 360. Well, anyway, we were there for about two months, and we we completed Assassin's Creed, we completed Assassin's Creed 2, and bear in mind, we had no internet, so we had to find all the flags ourselves in Assassin's Creed. And we did that, we found every single one of the flags. You know, but we only had that game to play. We had Assassin's Creed, we had Assassin's Creed 2, we had Gears of War 2, and we had Resident Evil 5. And we had Dennis Roy's Gundam 2. Uh, but, but the only game we had that was on both platforms... The only game we had that was on both the PS4 and the, sorry, the PS3 and the Xbox 360. Remember, this is like back in 2008. The only game that we had that was on both was Assassin's Creed 1 and Assassin's Creed 2. But anyway, flash forward a couple of months later, we actually get our own house. And we start, we decide that we are, we decide we need some money. So, we decided to sell the PS3. We had a lot more games. We had like three games on the PS3. 
we had about about 10 games now on the Xbox 360. And at our local store, the Xbox 360 games are always on offer 2 for 20 quid. Uh, the PS3, they weren't. They were never on offer. So, ooh, talk about dropping those on us. So I ended up focusing primarily on the PS, on the Xbox 360. This needs an iron pickaxe. So I ended up focusing on the, on the 360. And at this point, I had been very bad at completing games. I'd never really completed that many games. I completed, I think it was both Assassin's Creed. I completed a complete Resident Evil 5. And I also had completed a couple of old retro games. But in the end, me and my cousin, my cousin Jade, we ended up playing on the Xbox 360 on Resident Evil 5. And at first it started, we just wanted to try and complete the game together. And we did. We completed the game together. Then we wanted to complete it on Professional. We did that. Then we wanted to complete it on Professional without using the Magnums. Without using the rocket launcher, sorry, to beat the bosses. We did that. Then we wanted to try and do it with just shotguns. We did that. And then we wanted to go and get all the achievements on the game. Now, I didn't have Xbox Live at this point. I didn't know what Xbox Live really was. To me, it was just an online service to play online with other people. But I was happy playing split screen, so I never got it. Never got it. And then, when we started hunting the achievements, we only had the original 1000 in the game. There was no additional DLC or anything like that. Because obviously I hadn't updated my Xbox since the day I'd bought it. Uh, until it came to actually playing a game. I can't remember what game it was. But my cousin and I wanted to play a game. And to play that game we needed to update the latest version of Xbox Live. Which means I needed to actually get Xbox Live. Uh, then I realised there was more achievements for Resident Evil. But we couldn't get them. So my wife and I, we talked... Uh, we by this point we bought a second Xbox 360. My wife had bought us uh, an Xbox 360 for herself, and we, me and my wife we talked. We decided we were going to buy my cousin Jade a Xbox 360, and then my cousin Jade and I we we sat down and we decided we were going to do achievement hunting. My, my cousin Jade used to come and visit almost every single weekend and a lot of the school holidays, and you know I was in college at this point. My wife was in college, my cousin was in sixth form, and we would spend our weekends achievement hunting. And I used to really, really love it. And I must have ranked, racked up about 40,000 game score in my first year. Uh, and then I racked up another about 30,000 in my second year. And I wasn't playing cheap games that was um, easy to get the achievement on, I weren't playing the expensive games, I was just playing games that I wanted to play. If a game sounded like it'd be fun for us to play, we bought it, we played it. Uh, but we didn't have a lot of money, so it was usually games that had been out for a reasonable length of time. There was very few new games that we actually bought. Uh, and, you know, I didn't I didn't look for achievements that were easy to get. I just, I, I looked on a game of whether I want to play it or not, and whether or not the achievements were obtainable. I didn't care how hard they were. And I, I, I worked to get some pretty difficult achievements over my course. And... Uh, then I tried to, then my cousin went off to uni, and uh, my wife and I, we just sort of lost interest in achievement hunting. Like, as 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 um, hard as it as we'd done before, you know. We both finished college, we were getting into work, we were, our daughter was starting to go to school, and uh, the sort of blissful time of life, where you can just sort of like unwind and relax and not really have to worry about too much, well, that had long since gone. We were now... We were now focused a little bit more on life. So we didn't have as much time to dedicate to achievement hunting. Uh, and I didn't like that, so we decided we were going to try to become streamers. This was about three, four years ago. So we started streaming our gameplay. We did all right when we were streaming, we did. Um, and there were reasons that we stopped. But we started doing all right, streaming our gameplay and achievement hunting. And, you know, I played Happy Wars, I played a, a few games, but we were then starting to run into the issue of funding the streaming. Because we couldn't play games that we'd completed because we wanted to stream achievement hunting. And we couldn't keep affording to buy two two copies of brand new games every week. It was, that was like 80, 90 quid a week. You know, more if we included the DLC. 
Um, so we started picking games that had difficult achievements, achievements that would take a while to get. So we would, we would have a reason to keep playing the same game for a couple of weeks. And, you know, I, I picked Happy Wars, which was a free-to-play game, and I had a lot of fun playing that game. I met some really cool people playing that game. Don't regret it one bit. But, um... Yeah, sort of, again, life sort of took over. We didn't have enough time to dedicate all money to dedicate to achievement hunting. So, it sort of died off. Uh, and then I went through a really bad patch uh, last year. A really difficult patch. And I started playing on, on my on my gamer card quite a lot during this time. Trying to get all of these hard achievements. Um... There's a spider somewhere here, so I don't want to continue digging in this direction. So I started doing this, and uh, in a way I started to associate that part of my life with the bad things that was happening. And it was a very bad thing to do. And I, it ended up becoming to a point where I was... I didn't want to game anymore. I didn't want to, I didn't want to play because it just... I was like, I know when I do this, it's just going to be all the blocking out of the bad things and stuff like that. And I ended up just sort of like, not wanting to play on that gamer card. I associated that gamer card with that. And I didn't achievement hunt for about a year. For about a year, I didn't achievement hunt. It was from about, from about, well, it won't be a year. I wouldn't say a year. About nine, ten months. It was from about... July time. It's from about July time. Of. Let me be about June time. June time of last year. To about. I want to say. March, April this year. But even then, you know. This is a game of card that I've got. We're about 2000 G in. Just, just under 2000 G. I don't know if there's a place where I can actually. Doesn't actually say, but I do actually have this open up here. So we can have a little look. Apparently I'm at 0G. Oh no, we're only about 1300, 1300G in. A little less than I thought we would be. Give me this back. Come on. A little less than I thought we'd be. But. Zombie. But having said that. I haven't gone hardcore, like, I've been doing this for about three months now, and that's about how far we are. You know, I just don't have the time to dedicate to achievement hunting like I used to. But I do miss it, I do miss... I do miss grinding them out, you know, I do miss playing them. And, you know, I've got a lot of games that I want to play. So, over on my second channel, we are doing um, achievement hunting as a series over there as well. And right now we are playing Dynasty Warriors 9. Now, obviously, I'm going to keep the games that fit the theme of this channel on this channel. Okay, so like, when it comes to some Minecraft achievement hunting, you know, we'll do that on this channel. I'm not going to, I'm not going to take that over to the second channel. You know, maybe, maybe when I do Terraria or, you know, other games that I feel will fit the theme over here. Survival-based games, maybe Ark or something. Then I'll do them over here. You know. But, for the vast majority, a lot of those are going to be over there. So if you do like the the idea of watching me Achievement Hunt, you know, feel free to go over there and, and just sort of like watch it. I'm really enjoying Dynasty Warriors. And I do want to get my hands on the other Dynasty Warriors games to try and complete them as well. Okay, there's that. You know, that'd be nice. I'm surprised this shovel hasn't broke yet, to be honest with you. I'm like, genuinely shocked. Actually, let's just do... This would be the smart thing to do. Yeah. If you don't know about this trick, it's a really cool one. But like, set right behind me is all my games that I own and I own a bunch of games that I've bought and I'm like okay you know what I'm gonna I am gonna play these games but so like into the later years of achievement hunting I wanted to get some games just off my gamer card 
you know, I'd been playing, I'd had games on there for years that weren't completed, and I wanted to get them completed. And that took a toll on me in the end. And I think that's part of the reason I started to associate that game of card with some bad things in my life. Because I was endlessly grinding. I can't remember the last time I really started a new game on there. I was grinding out level 100 in GTA. While also trying to grind out the raids on Destiny, which no one was playing. Grinding out the zombie achievements on Call of Duty. Which again, I was doing mostly on my own. And it ended up becoming just something that... You know what? I, I'm done with this gravel pit. I'm just done with that gravel pit, okay? Absolutely done with it. And, you know, we do have a pretty substantial amount of cobblestone. But, yeah, so I stopped for a lot of reasons. And one of those was I didn't want to keep putting new games on my gaming card when old games weren't completed. You know, I wanted to complete games. I didn't want to pick games now that's insanely difficult. I'm picking games that I want to play, you know. But I make sure that I finish the game rather than get all the easy achievements and leave the hard achievements, so to speak. I mean, I didn't exactly do that with the other game of cards. You know, like I said, I did enjoy going after some of the art of achievements. But, you know, sometimes there were achievements that I just wasn't able to get. Like the raids on Destiny. I just wasn't able to get them. They required four to six people. Uh, and I didn't have four to six people playing Destiny. I had maybe two. And that became a little bit of a problem for me. Um, this is going to break before we get the chance to get this. Do I have my diamond pick on me? No, I don't. Are you going to last me this? Oh, yes. You lasted. B-E-A. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, I think we'll go back to the surface now. And we've rambled on for about about 18 minutes. <laughs> it's been quite a, a long ramblings. And we haven't even got a single... Use a cauldron to dye all four unique pieces of leather armor. How the hell do you use a cauldron to do that? I never even knew you could dye them in a cauldron. But yeah, unfortunately we haven't got any achievements this episode. But hopefully we've got a reasonable amount of the way towards this cobblestone one. Let's go and put the cobblestone in the chest and see how we are. We still start last episode that I think it was a... That we think it's a single chest. It's a single chest that we need to fill with cobble. So, let's do that. So, we're two-thirds of the way there. We're two-thirds of the way there. Let's put this away. We got 24 diamonds, which means we can make ourselves a nice set of diamond armor. Where's me iron? I know I mined some iron. There it is. Put this through the furnace. That's still burning. And I think we're going to wrap this episode up a little bit shorter. Just because I'm, I've got a very busy like day ahead of me. Today. So let's just feed these cows. Bring the ones that I haven't had over here. There we go. But yeah, so that's going to do it for this episode, guys. So if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps that channel. I really do appreciate it. So please do leave that like. And click subscribe if you want to see more from me. Guys, I'm Casey. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Mm.